So, why is hypercholesterolemia so bad? After all, the body needs cholesterol to function properly by making hormones, vitamin D, and substances to help with the digestion of food. However, large amounts of cholesterol in the bloodstream can result in the clogging of arteries and a chance of heart attacks. Those with this genetic disorder face this problem. They have high amounts of LDL cholesterol in their bloodstream and are unable to properly remove it. Additionally, LDL cholesterol is labeled as the bad cholesterol. Thus, their chances of acquiring heart disease increases immensely. So, what is the incidence rate of FH? Well, there is about 1 in every 500 individuals with a heterozygous LDLR mutation. That's 1 in 500. On the other hand, 1 in every 1 million people have the homozygous LDLR mutation. Prevalence. There is a wide variety in prevalence and awareness and treatment of FH, but is most commonly found in select populations. These include the Afrikaners in South Africa, French Canadians, the Lebanese, and the Finns. While exploring TED.com, I watched a video featuring Francis Collins on the topic of how we need better drugs and we need them now. One of his key points was the fact that in medical history, there have been times when we've used old, disregarded drugs to treat diseases different than intended, and they've worked. One such drug is lomidopide. Originally, it was meant to lower cholesterol and triglycerides but the FDA has approved it as treatment for the rare homozygous FH. This occurred just last December. Now on to Joseph Goldstein and Michael Brown. 
These noble winners were the ones to discover that the cells of people with FH have defected LDL receptors, and this is why they have high cholesterol. Finally, this year, on January 29th, the drug Kynomara was approved for the treatment of homozygous FH. It's a once-a-week injection that can be used in a combination with other medications to enable the reduction of LDL cholesterol. As homozygous FH affects 1 million people and it rapidly increases the chance of heart disease, this new treatment is vital.